Hi guys, this is Hara from Hara's Reviews and welcome to this new review. Oh, and now here we are with SH Fever's Bulma Adventures Begins. So guys, uh, I don't speak English very well, so this is uh, the first try to do an English video review, but I will try to improve my English, I promise. <laughs> I am Italian if you don't know me. So this is the packaging, uh, very well done. This is uh, one side, this is the other side, up, down, and this is the back part. So let's see this figure out of the packaging. And here we are with Bulma and all of his accessories. So let's take a closer look at them. Let's start with the hand. This is the first hand with uh, the capsule very very well done with the uh, number nine now we have uh, these two ends uh, this open palm end and this gun holding end now we have also this end with the dragon radar very very well done the radar is removable very small parts guys so be careful it connects to the end with this peg and now we have this end with the pointing finger two left ends this open palm and again a pointing finger end now we have the two star dragon ball very very well done and also we have uh, a gun with this gun metal painting very very well done and now we have the holster without the gun. We have also two interchangeable uh, faces. We have this smiling face, uh, really, really well done. Look at the eyes, they are astonishing. And then we have this uh, terrifying uh, face, <laughs> very, very well done, very funny expression. So now let's take a closer look to Bulma. This is uh, the face, very, very well done with the smile. The eyes are uh, very, very cool. Also the hair are very well sculpted. There are no shading on the hair. There is no painting. This is the ribbon, red ribbon, very, very well done. And then we have this piece uh, of uh, hair that is articulated uh, in this way. This is a really, really cool feature. Now let's take a closer look at the outfit. This is the classic Bulma outfit with this pink dress. Very well done with Bulma right on the chest and 97 on the back. Then we have the skirt in this soft plastic material. Then we have the belt that is a separate piece. And then we have the holster with the gun that is not removable. I can't really understand why they do two separate pieces like this instead of doing a removable gun. This blows my mind every time. Now let's take a closer look to an important feature about this figure and this is what I'm talking about. Uh, the figure have panties underneath the skirt and also she have a nice little ass so this is a very very important feature about this figure let's take a closer look uh, at the shoes uh, also really really well done very very clean painting on this figure now let's take a closer look at the articulation we have the head that can move up and down can move also side to side in this way it can rotate in this way we have already seen this articulation then we have uh, the shoulder articulation very very well done we have the arm rotation 360 then we have rotation here rotation here at the bicep and now we have also the elbow articulation and also we have the hand articulation in this way and also the rotation then we have uh, the torso articulation very very well done nice range of motion then we have also rotation and the articulation at the waist with this range so the torso have a really really great range of movement with these two articulation then we have the leg can move up in this way can move forward in this way legs can split also in this way really good then there is a rotation 
then there is the knee articulation uh, it is a bit ugly to see and then we have uh, the feet can move up can move down can rotate this way and there is also the ankle articulation now let's take some measures the figure stand uh, just about uh, 13 and a half centimeters almost 5.5 inches now here it is Bullman near SH Figures Master Roshi and SH Figures Kid Goku and here she is near to the Super Saiyan Blue SH Figures Son Goku and the Marvel Select Garbage Spider-Man and here we are for the votation moment of this figure now let's begin with accessories they are a good number so my vote is an 8 then uh, about articulation they are really really well done not so great to see in some points such as elbows and knees but they have a good range of movement so also for the articulation i give an hate and then guys we have the aesthetic this figure is really really well done it is a really nice uh, representation of the anime and manga Bulma so my vote for the aesthetic is a 9 so guys my final vote for this figure is an 8 this is a really really good Bulma figure a must have for all Dragon Ball fans so guys now it's your turn to leave a comment below with your opinion about this figure I'm really really curious about it uh, don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to my channel see you next time guys and always collecting <laughs>